Welcome back into this special episode of In the Courts. So with nearly half of the states legalizing pot recreationally, it's still more important to remember marijuana is still illegal at the federal level. This means federal courts still treat even a first-time charge for possession of marijuana as a Class A misdemeanor. And why does that matter? Well, federal law applies even if you live in a state that permits possession, and for anyone pursuing immigration relief, members of the military, or federal employees, still illegal. Employees of companies with federal contracts are also subject to these restrictions and random drug tests. So President Biden, President Biden recently pardoned thousands of marijuana possession convictions. He says the pot pardons are helping those who were convicted get their lives back. As I said when I ran for president, no one should be in jail just for using or possessing marijuana. It's already legal in many states. And criminal records for marijuana possession have led to needless barriers to employment, to housing, to educational opportunities. President Biden's announcement only affects those who have been convicted of simple possession. It doesn't protect you from being charged with simple possession in the future. Now, since 1970, cannabis has been classified as a Schedule I drug under the Controlled Substances Act, same as heroin, same as ecstasy. Schedule I drugs are defined as having a, quote, high potential for abuse and no currently accepted medical use in treatment and a lack of accepted safety for use in under medical supervision. Now, in his recent announcement, Biden said that his administration would look into whether cannabis should continue to be a Schedule I drug. But for now, it is until Congress does something about it. According to a study by the ACLU, between 2010 and 2018, Maryland was home to three of the top 10 counties with the highest rates of marijuana possession arrests in the country. And locally, advocates say something must be done to stop the disparity between white and black arrests and convictions. Black residents in Maryland are still two times more likely to be arrested for marijuana than their white counterparts. And Maryland medical industry of marijuana has continued to struggle with black and Latino participation. Uh, we have seen that the last year's polls indicate that the support has maybe even been diminishing um, about residents wanting to have this regulated in their state. And this very well be because the quote unquote little guy, as well as these racial justice components are not yet uh, guaranteed in these next states. In July, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer introduced major legislation that would repeal federal prohibitions on marijuana. The bill included Democratic and Republican priorities from expunging weed-related records, similar to what Maryland is considering, to law enforcement funding to combat illegal cannabis-related activity. It also looks like there's bipartisan support for legalization. The question going into the next Congress is whether legalization will be a priority among all the others for the lawmakers.